Good morning, my lovelies. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Twisted Faye, your lovely host from Arizona. I hope everybody's doing great and that you're having a kick-ass start off to your weekend. Whether it's morning for you, afternoon or evening, and you just got home from work or school and you're resting. I hope you have a great weekend or continue to have a great weekend and welcome to the start. <laughs> Anywho, for those of you returning back to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are amazing. Um, and thank you. Thank you so much for supporting me and my art. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Alrighty, so... I, I've been asked a couple times to do a couple tutorials. So that's something that I'm actually thinking about incorporating soon. Um, next week... There may or may not be a video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But I'm just letting you know in advance. Around next week, if not the week after, I'll be having my shop will be up. So literally it is right around the corner. It is right here. Boom, smacking me in the face like get your shit together, woman. You know? <laughs> so I'm sorry if I do not upload next week. I'm going to try. And I'm gonna try to do some tutorials. Like, I'll start it slow, so I'll do like an introductory and everything and about how my approach is to it because I'm not saying that my approach is right. But, you know, I do want to install that in people. Is that, you know, practice makes perfect, but it's not any practice that makes perfect. It is good practice that makes perfect. Because if you learn the bad ways and the bad habits and all that other stuff, the bad practice habits, you're not going to learn and you're not going to advance or see the, uh, the progress that you've been making. Instead, you might be slower if you doing, you know, if you got the bad tendencies. Uh, <laughs> bad tendencies and it is so hard and it's it's I don't know how to explain it but it's basically the, like I had to go back and kind of break everything that she learned and that's oh, not easy to do because if you tell somebody like how to do something you mean they're going to do it but then they'll be like well I'm doing what you say but I'm not seeing any progress It's not something that you get better at right away. So you do have to break all things to bring in the correct and appropriate practices, I guess. Um, I guess that's something that I'm really happy that I learned early on versus where I'm doing art now and then barely learning it now. Um, my grandmother always taught me that it was, yeah, practice. thought of it as good advice and that this goes for anything this could be for music writing drawing you know your habits like um, exercising and stuff like that any, anything or even sleep routines you know which speaking of sleep routines my shit is absolutely horrid do not listen to me about sleep advice <laughs> my schedule my sleep schedule is horribly fucked up half of the freaking time if not most like Two thirds of the time, <laughs> my sleeping schedule is like. Um, but yeah, that whole mentality—it's great. It's just like the same with motivation or inspiration. Like, yeah, you can be motivated to do something. You can be inspired to create something. But motivation and inspiration isn't going to keep you. That's a fleeting feeling. It comes and it goes. You have to, like, that's something that I love about challenges. So, 
like for Inktober, I'm so stoked Inktober is coming around. I have, oh my god, you have no clue. And I'll be getting a um, a different webcam as well, a separate webcam, a USB webcam. Um, because the only webcam that I have is on my laptop and I can't bend my laptop to record my drawings. <laughs> so that's something I'm actually really excited to show you guys. Because a lot of the things that I've learned, as you know, if you've listened to any of my other videos, I started out with traditional art. And so a lot of the things that I've incorporated into my digital art actually come from my traditional art. Like the sketching process, the, uh, like if you look in my sketchbooks and stuff, um, maybe not my older ones because they were all pencil and I don't know how to them. Um, I think I think that was I'll have to ask them to check on their stories uh, because they have boxes and boxes of like my stuff that I've done over the time or stuff that they kept for my drawings but I've, I don't know where they're at. I'd have to ask. <laughs> yeah, anywho, uh, going back to the whole Inktober thought for the challenges and stuff like that, like I'm really stoked. going to get into that because that's your own personal thoughts your own personal views i don't care whether you do it digitally or traditionally i do it traditionally personally i do 
but there's, but that's from my own, my own day, because it's been a long time that I really miss the Eagles. Like, I practice 90 bullets, I practice with the Eagles, but it's not every day. I do it on my sketch more. Another harmonious color to make it look pretty or give it a contrasting color like yellow if the shirt is purple or something like that for some of the shadow weight and it's it's really really great because then you can see the contrast you can see the folds and it looks much more better on screen or in person if you're doing it traditionally it like it it
every single time. So I got worn out on that. I did that last year every single day. And oh my god, I didn't want to see another fucking one. to your art and like put it to use that's actually a lot that i've actually found to be true is that when people start experience art block it's a level up congratulations you should be happy but then there's that point. 